Wonderful Weeaboo. And I'm Afro Man. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but uh, I forget what. It was Age of Ultron. That's that's where I kind of was like, I don't like them doing a shit ton of uh, people doing clips. Because it was a scene where they were uh, at Tony. No, they were at the Avengers uh, Tower. And, um, or I think it was Star's Tower. It was, some, it was some type of fucking tower. And they're just hanging out, drinking and stuff like that, and doing the actual, like, uh, trying to lift up Thor's hammer. And the only one that kind of got close was, uh, 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 Captain America, because he actually moved it a little bit and made Thor, like, kind of look over, like, what the fuck? But, uh, yeah, it, it, it was weird. It kind of, kind of got, like, not too old, but it kind of got overwhelming. I'm like, why is everybody making making these like these jokey remarks? Like some of these characters are actually like like serious in their standalone movies, but for some reason they're doing these clips now. And even fucking Ultron was doing it too. And I was like, no, Ultron should not be making these jokes, even though he's he's part he, his AI is part of Tony Stark's one. Like, no, his his AI is actually straight up just like helpful big, yeah and actually like, like just straightforward with with his uh analysis and stuff like that it's just like i think i think uh i think once you substitute humor with quips like uh or like humorous like situations with quips i think it just sort of dies yes well I, I i feel like you need you need a straight person to uh a straight uh, no, straight man to actually uh uh balance out the actual like jokes and quips and stuff like that i think a good combination of comedy and like action like or at least like good good character moments or just like just just a fun movie ha that has comedic, comedic moments in it. it's uh thor ragnarok yes like Wh which is which is after they established uh uh thor having having humor just because he's been around humans a lot but that that's a good explanation of how, how to make a serious character in his because missing his first two movies he was not making that many jokes he made I think he made made me like five the only jokes that like he made were unintentional jokes like yes. like another or something like that yes because his first movie I, I can you can really count how many he actually did in that one that was like five to six the second movie he made maybe one or two just because he was actually trying to like he was he was very like focused and steadfast to get shit done because like I think it was really hard to sell like. I think uh, what was his name Hemsworth, uh, uh, Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. I think it was really hard for him to sell like, um, like uh, the uh, the Shakespearean like uh, talking. Yeah, and and the thing is, I can under, I can under, I can definitely understand it just because that that's a lot of like uh, speech training you have to you put yourself through. Just because like Thor was, was very much like he spoke proper and the. Uh, the, the Queen's English. But like, like the Queen's English according to an American. Yes. Which which that that's like that that was a comic book character. And that, and that will always be the comic book character because he, he speaks like that in the anime series and the comic books. So doing that now for the live action ones, uh it it was a good a mod, a homage to it. But uh now that he is actually his own like straight up own character I am glad that they actually changed up for him at that point. It's just like with like Shakespeare or whatever. Like, yes, it's it's very hard. It's even just, even though technically Shakespeare is still modern, it, it is modern English. Yes. Like in technicality, like but like um, whenever I see someone like do like a monologue or like do anything from Shakespeare, you, like it feels like they're trying to speak another language and they're trying to get the emotions right. But like yeah. it's hard to understand like the like I think like because like unless you're very adept in like understanding what the fuck Shakespeare's meaning what yeah, we're yeah. talking about. Oh yeah. It's hard to like to like get the fucking feeling of like oh like uh, like oh what's this mean? Oh, what's this mean? Doth have or something like that. Oh yeah. Um and I will say, like, Shakespeare, like, did, like, influence our, our English right now. Like, um, uh, eh. like, a good example, like, eyeball, the, the word, was invented by him. Uh, 
I think Alligator was made, uh, I think it was made by him. I could be like wrong. It is, it's been a while, and I'm, and I'm, I'm working two things right now as, as we speak. Yeah. I'm trying to think of Shakespeare and play this game. Yeah. I mean. Oh, I saw like a. There, I found a. I saw a book of like, um, like of, uh, of uh, Metal Gear Solid's like concept art. Mm -hmm. It looks fantastic. Yeah, because it doesn't. Because he just had like good people actually just make. Uh... Yeah, like Hideo Kojima, yeah. Oh yeah. Like Hideo Kojima, like has like numerous amount of good people like around him. Oh yeah. He he just gets high high quality people just to, just to help him out to make these. Uh, uh, get video games for him and stuff like that. It's just that there's a certain point where it just kind of is like, can you not just make this a movie and just make it a video game? My good sir, because because uh, this thing that because I think somebody did tell him that, and that's why he uh, barely played the cutscenes in Metal Solid Five. But at the same time, it was weird because you can see who he was actually like, uh, who the audience he was going for. Because like you could probably just like uh, take out like add extra scenes to like all those cutscenes to make it a coherent movie. Yes, and, and then, uh, I, I think that's why he's actually trying to do movies now. He's like, I, I can do a movie. Like, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no I can do a CGI or animated movie. Like, he, he's not, beautiful. he's not David Cage. Where like, like where he's not like. Like he he's a better version of David Cage, a way better version. Oh yeah, like he he. If David Cage it, can make horrible, horrible games with horrible, horrible dialogue and horrible, horrible, horrible like messages and stuff like that, Hideo Kojima. It, yeah, he's like the straight up opposite of that. He he will make great a great story, great dialogue, a great message behind it. And have characters actually make sense, even though they should never make sense. Because my whole biggest thing is like uh, Quiet in. and uh, the end. Those two characters do not make sense to me whatsoever. But they're still good characters. We need more firepower. Like for me, like I like I I, I, I should finish Metal Gear Solid Five. Like because yeah, we just watch the video. On it's just like, uh, like, um, I, think I just want to experience it because, like, because I, because I really liked uh, Big Boss. Um, like, uh, like Big Boss's story in, in three. Yeah. And like, I want to like continue on like to five. Yeah. But like I feel like I should like play all the games from solid to to now like to now like you know to five yeah but like I don't have every system that like like that requires that yeah I can see that you know, I have I have all the games and even though I'm kind of like oh, I might do it and then I realize like oh you know the gameplay is actually straight up garbage no I'm good I, I just like want do you have four yeah, I can actually play for it right now. Because I have PlayStation now. So basically, you can play the whole, like, yeah. series. Yes, I can. I can play, one, I can play literally one through five if, if I truly felt like it. But I, then I remember, like, oh yeah, the gameplay is very not good. But the cutscenes and the actual dialogue are, and the actual uh, character introductions are actually really good. Because, like, I remember, like, Metal Gear Solid 1 was fun. But I do know that, like, because the Nakey Jakey said, like, uh, it, like, it, like, it went from, uh, like, sneaking and all that shit to boss battles. Yes. Which is fine, it's just, like, is that, is that what people wanted? And the thing is, the worst thing about it is, like, the, not the gun control, but the gun gameplay is just really weird. Because I think you can, you can see that that was the last thing they actually thought of for like each game. The guns? Yeah, because I think because a lot of guns are either overpowered, but you don't find them until like after the boss that needs it, or they're very just they're stupid, and you don't and you just don't need it. Oh fuck. Um.
I think, like, um, when I was playing Metal Gear Solid Five, I finished, like, Act 1. Yeah. And, uh, and I was, like, halfway through to Act 2, maybe. Ah, uh, so you're still kind of slow, man, actually. But I need you to destroy the, the game. Unit yeah, on that it's still a long game. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm like, like, even though you're in the beginning part, is you still have a ways to go. Like, the reason why it took so long, because I was doing all the side missions and all that stuff. Ah, makes sense. So, like, I was trying to, like, be in the world of the game. Yeah. It's like, uh, there's a lot to do. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, and I think in the game that I was playing, like, uh, in the, in the server I was playing, because, like, uh, it had, like, it had a cutscene where, like, um, everybody dismantled all their, um, nuclear weapons. Yeah. Which is interesting. Because that's a really rare cutscene. Because yeah. like everybody has to dis dismantle those uh, those, uh, those um, things. Oh yeah. To be honest, like these sections of the game can be fun, but like right now it's not really that fun. Well, like, it could, this one, this one, it it stays longer than it should. I'm still thinking about how like you, you wanted to, like uh, like you're playing uh, Charlie's Angels like the sequel like in the background and like and you're just you know, just like every now and then you just look at like what the fuck is going on yeah because like you have like you immediately told me that like you have not seen the first one no and you just wanted to see what because you've seen the review of the first one yes and for for me like I never really seen that but, like the only time I've really seen you like do something like that was with like when you added when you said to me hey let's watch a season let's watch the season three of a random anime that's happening let's watch a random season like let's watch the current season of random anime we haven't seen seen the previous season yep and that was uh dog days or something i think it was called uh, it, it was called something i told it i immediately forgot as soon as, soon as it came on i was like the fuck is happening cool shutting down and like it's just like it was your idea, and I think you just forget that it was that it was yours. No, I don't. I don't forget it. I just forget the actual anime we watched. I was like, I remember like watching a third, se like the first episode of a third season of a seasonal anime. What was that again? Fuck. That's fine. Cause, cause I was trying to find the actual like first season of it. I'm like, what was it called again? Fuck it. I'm I'm not worried about it anymore. Because I know who it was. It was the director of the uh, of some of the animation segments of um, like of South Park. Like uh, he, really? okay. he did the he did the he did Major Boobage. Okay. 